The Askar refugee camp, located on the outskirts of Nablus, is one of 19 Palestinian refugee camps in Judea and Samaria, controlled and maintained by UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, which benefits from a whopping budget of $1.6 billion, flowing from 67 donor countries and 33 international NGOs. 58% of that budget funds the UNRWA school system, which emphasizes and promotes the right of return as the underlying principle for its operations its very reason for being. أحب أقول لكم إنه مفتاح العودة للساتو معنا وراح نفتح يوم من الأيام في بيوتنا مثل إني بتعلم بجهدي وحق إني أخذ وطني ونحرر فلسطين يعني الناس الشهداء يعني بدر يحرر فلسطين إذا بنضلهم هيك أنا نور لمسي مديرة نادي أشبال العاصفة إحنا كل سنة اللجنة الوطنية بتعمل نوادي صيفية في مخيم عسكر قسمنا الأطفال لأربع مجموعات حت بأسماء شهدائنا في مخيم عسكر أساسهم يضلوا حاضرين في ذهنهم وفي أفكارهم وتعلموا منهم البطولة ويضلهم مستمرين في درب المقاومة وفي عندهم يعني كل طفل مستعد يكون مشروع شهيد مقابل إنه يحافظ على المبادئ اللي إحنا مترسخة عنا حقنا في العودة وإن شاء الله انتفاضة أقوى جاية وهذول أطفالنا هم اللي راح يقدوها The delusion of refugees going back to homes they left in the wake of the 1948 war homes which are long gone has turned into the source, the motivation and the promoter of the armed rebellion against the Jews Askar is the smallest of the refugee camps in Judea and Samaria yet stands out as the camp with the highest amount of Palestinians engaged in terror activity in relation to the number of its inhabitants including the highest number of shahids, armed terrorists killed in the act of murder, and the largest number of convicts serving life imprisonment for murder. مخيم مقاتل, مخيم مقاوم, مخيم يقدم الشهيد تلو الشهيد ومن جميع الأطياف ومن جميع الأعمار ومن جميع التوجهات. From this refugee camp embarked the Palestinian assassin of brothers Hillel and Yagel Yaniv from Harbracha, who were killed driving through Hawara in February 2023. It was also home to a 15-year-old terrorist who set out this past April from Askar, armed with a gun, shooting and severely injuring two Jews in Jerusalem. Askar is also home to the three-man terrorist squad who, on April 7, 2023, murdered Lucy D. and her two daughters, 15-year-old Reina and 20-year-old Maya, in a drive-by shooting. The perpetrators of these heinous killings are hailed today as heroes in the Askar refugee camp. As soon as the murder of this Jewish woman and her two young daughters became known, sweets were handed out on the streets of Askar as an expression of happiness and triumph. The funeral of Hassan Katanani, the terrorist who pulled the gun on the D family, grew into a huge rally of support, which consisted of everyone from the Askar refugee camp as they celebrated the murder of Jews and the destruction of Israel. <laughs> حسن القطراني ليه؟ سوى عملية لأنه أول شيء دافع عن وطنه وعن كرامته رجع شوية من الكرامة لما هجرونا من ديورنا وبيوتنا من أسيطر أسيطر على أراضينا مين هدول؟ مين هدول؟ إبراهيم النابلسي ومدير الحوا وعبد الله الحسني أحمد السعدي مين هدول؟ مين هدول؟ إيه؟ كل مخيم أفطار في صالح صبرة في معاذ المصري في حسن قطناني في كتير شهداء
ونعطي لاخوتنا المقاومين نهديهم سلام والله يحمي كل واحد مقاوم تحيه لكتيبه عسكر وكتيبه جنين وكتيبه بلاطه هذا عمي الله يرحمه استشهد 2022 28 10 2022 وين استشهد وكيف استشهد عمليه على حاجز حواره posters with pictures of the killers were plastered in every corner of Oscar, while songs of praise for the murderers were composed in their honor. Oscar's UNRWA summer camps were even named for these murderers. Surat al Batal Ibrahim al Nabulsi, because he was playing, he was not a warrior, he was a warrior. I love Ibrahim, because he was a warrior for all the boys in Nablus, he was a warrior for all the children in Nablus. Surat al Shahid al Batal Abdullah al Husari. أرعب كيان وقتش ممدمر وعسين وأسير وجريح وشهيد أنا حبيت عشان كان مقاوم ودافع عن وطنه The family of Hassan Katanani was congratulated with pride and approval that their son had the honor to kill a Jewish woman and her two young daughters while driving in their car to meet family members during the Passover holiday. They expressed their hope and wish that the terrorist young children would go in the footsteps of their father and merit to become holy shaheed just like their blessed father. The terrorist mother expressed herself in her own way. Memorial ceremonies for holy martyrs and festivals celebrate the release of terrorists from prison at weddings and family celebrations accompanied by shooting rifles and pistols. Hundreds of Oscar youth take part in these ceremonies, including children and young adolescents, absorbing the message of blind hatred so that they too can become the killers and shaheeds of the future. The amount of weapons in the Oscar refugee camp are huge. Oscar now boasts at least 200 wanted terrorists just waiting to commit the next acts of murder. This is how the right of return, the reason for being of UNRWA, has become a source of lethal violence that surpasses the organization's hollow slogans for peace. The time has come for donor nations to think again about blind support for UNRWA.